program returns humans to the moon, more of the lunar surface will be explored than ever before as we prepare to go on to Mars. NASA will work to overcome the challenges of deep space exploration, including how to use resources from the moon and Mars to grow food, make fuel, and manufacture materials. Pioneering students from around the world are helping NASA advance the Artemis mission through the Institute of Competition Sciences Plant the Moon Challenge. Participants in the Plant the Moon Challenge design and conduct experiments to grow plants using real lunar soil simulant. After an eight-week growing period, teams submit final project reports and best-in-show award winners are chosen. Anyone in the world can participate in the challenge, but the Virginia Space Grant Consortium is leading a six-state partnership engaging nearly 5,000 students. Virginia Space Grant is helping selected teams earn their green thumbs by providing free lunar regolith simulant kits, teacher stipends, enhancement activities, special awards, and professional development. Um, I feel like my favorite part was constantly checking up on the plants, you know, making sure they had enough water, um, the levels of light they had, you know, just like constantly like having something to do every day and look forward to seeing the progress. I would say the upkeep was definitely fun, you know, like checking up every day um, and then the progress, you know, seeing what you made grow, like that's kind of rewarding when, ex when it succeeds. Uh, the whole team got to take part in that. Like we took turns uh, for each pot. I mean, I definitely find pride in the fact that we were successful because um, among all the other competitors or whatever, that we did pretty highly. Well, I think it's great that the Space Grant Consortium was able to, you know, back this financially because who can afford, you know, $420 of, of regolith and then also the $100 stipend that came with it comes with each team that you know, you can buy the pots and the um, and the, the uh, potting soil, other things that you need, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, otherwise, it w w I wouldn't have done it. I mean, it's like pretty awesome to me just because like we're from the Eastern Shore, you know, there's nothing around here. Like we've never done anything like this before. So knowing that we're in something like pretty big is like really, really nice and it makes us feel really good. I would say taking pride in the fact that we're like in a research project, so like what we're doing really matters. I feel like that's really important. I mean, for me, it's like a pretty cool concept. Like we're doing something that it sounds small, you know, growing plants out here, but we're actually helping for like a much bigger cause, you know, helping NASA and the moon. And as you said, Mars too, it's a pretty big deal and it's pretty cool. Yeah, I would say it's like, it's technically an honor to be going against like other schools that are way bigger than us and then also just for a good cause. It's nice to see that we're all coming together to contribute in the research for the people in NASA. Look for the next session of the Plant the Moon Challenge and other STEM opportunities in Virginia at vsgc.odu.edu.